watering for healthy turf. During the summer months, it's common for golfers on the fairway to wait for a maintenance worker to finish hand watering the turf before they hit their shots. Understandably, they often wonder why the water cannot be applied at night when the course is closed. In fact, it's very likely the green was watered at night. In most cases, the water golfers see applied during the day by a worker holding a hose is not a replacement for the deeper irrigation that takes place during the night, but a supplement for certain areas that need additional water. Hand watering is often necessary for different reasons. Although great effort goes into the design of sprinkler systems, it's difficult to apply water evenly to odd-shaped areas such as greens. Sprinkler placement must be adjusted for bunkers and mounding as well as the shape of the green. The wind also impacts coverage. Superintendents recognize that too much water is much more detrimental to healthy turf than too little and usually err on the side of dryness. It's much easier and wiser to add a little more water the next day with the hose than to overwater the night before. When the maintenance worker is pointing the hose directly downward onto the green, he or she is adding water to the soil to supplement the overhead irrigation system. During really hot weather, the hose may be employed for an entirely different reason, cooling the turf. To accomplish this, the maintenance worker points the hose up and sprays a mist across the green. This is commonly referred to as syringing. By placing a very light coating of moisture on the leaves of the turf, the temperature near the green surface can be temporarily lowered, much like the cooling effect of the wind evaporating sweat from a golfer's skin. This evaporation of water from the leaf surface provides at least temporary relief from high temperatures.